Breaking news from Chile, where a massive earthquake has killed at least 78 people and triggered a tsunami. In the darkness and with lines of communication cut, just how destructive this earthquake had been was at first difficult to establish. Massive earthquake and a series of aftershocks have hit Chile, killing at least 17 people. The quake, with a magnitude of 8.8, .8, caused blackouts in part of the capital, Santiago. Buildings have been reduced to rubble and phone lines have been brought down. Seismologists say the tremor has caused a tsunami with three-meter-high waves heading towards Chile's coast. CNN Breaking News. And hello again from CNN Center. I'm Natalie Allen. We want to bring you the latest on the breaking news that we continue to follow out of Chile, where a magnitude 8.8 .8 quake hit about 90 minutes ago off Chile's coast. Yes, 8.8 .8 quake, a very strong earthquake there this morning. There are power blackouts, we're told, reported in Santiago and in Concepcion, the largest city closest to the epicenter of this quake. A tsunami warning has also been issued for the region. We are continue to talk with people as we get them on the telephone. We'll bring you what people are telling us about power outages. Right now, we want to take you to the weather center where Ivan Cabrera is following the tsunami warning. Ivan, what can you tell us? Yeah, Natalie, and that's been the update here uh, from when we last uh, spoke to you here. Again, obviously, the upgraded uh, magnitude there at 8.8, .8, and I'll talk about the difference in magnitudes in a second here, but the important thing is, is now we're now getting measurements of reports of tsunami wave activity, and uh, this earthquake did indeed produce a tsunami. How destructive? how large it's going to be. We just don't know yet, but preliminary amplitudes as far as the waves, we're uh, clocking them in at about 1.3 meters off of uh, Valparaiso there, off of uh, Chile, and that occurring uh, minutes uh, after the uh, earthquake here. Notice the proximity now of the epicenter here off the coast of Chile here. If a tsunami was generated, these travel about 800 kilometers per hour. You're not going to have much time here uh, to warn folks right along the coast. What we are concerned about now is that if uh, you are watching us uh, from uh, areas to the north, to the south, this tsunami warning includes the entire coast of Chile heading up into Peru. And in fact, because of the uh, latest data now coming out of those buoys, they have extended the tsunami uh, watch 
There's a warning for Chile, there's a warning for Peru, and the watch that was in effect for Ecuador is now in effect for Colombia, Antarctica, Panama, and Costa Rica. So we're talking about an expansive area here, and as far as the travel times, of course, the further away from the epicenter, the more time you have before a destructive tsunami does uh, arrive. And again, as far as uh, uh, the uh, potency of it, we just can't uh, tell you, but uh, preliminary data certainly indicate that uh, a tsunami was uh, generated from this uh, incredible earthquake. When you talk about an 8.8, .8, every magnitude that you go up, Haiti was a 7. So when you go from a 7, say, to an 8, that's 32 times the energy higher that's released from that earthquake. So we're talking almost a 9 here, so almost a 64. Uh, imagine the uh, Haiti earthquake being 64 times greater in intensity as far as uh, the waves that are propagated from that epicenter as that rupture occurs. The difference here, and this is key with the tsunami warning, is that we're not talking about the strike-slip fault that uh, when you get the plates that go side to side and they have that parallel motion, that's less likely to generate a tsunami. What we have here is we have the Nazca plate coming in off the Pacific, and that is meeting of course the uh, South American plate here and Nazca plate is actually subducting underneath it so what happens is when you get that uh, earthquake you get a up and down motion and that generates obviously the earthquake but also when you get an up and down motion that can generate a tsunami and in fact with this one it was generated as far as how destructive it's going to be it is just too preliminary uh, to talk about that but as far as uh, let's say the tsunami wasn't let's say if it wasn't even generated and 8.8 .8 is going to cause considerable damage uh, to structures. Uh, uh, forget the tsunami. I mean, just the earthquake itself is going to be a catastrophe for uh, areas uh, in and around the epicenter. Let's take you to our other weather source, uh, 491 because I want to talk about the perspective here and put it in perspective as far as our magnitude here. Uh, remember, Haiti is 7.0, major earthquake, considerable damage. When you talk about an 8.0 or greater, uh, they call them, we call them the great earthquakes. They don't happen uh, often. In fact, you get about 0.3 point three happening in a year which uh, means that uh, in a typical year you may not get any well so far in 2010 now we have one a great earthquake communities destroyed unless you design engineer a building specifically to withstand an 8.0 greater earthquake uh, you are going to get damage even buildings that are well built there is going to be significant damage in those buildings. Buildings that are poorly built are going to be completely destroyed with an 8.8 .8 magnitude quake in and around that epicenter. And again, as you saw with Haiti there, with those poorly constructed structures, a 7.0 caused all that devastation. An 8.8, .8, almost a 9, is uh, Natalie about 64 times greater than what we saw in uh, Haiti. So we're going to watch this uh, very closely here. We're going to be with you uh, throughout the uh, day, and uh, we're going to hope to get uh, some information out of that uh, region. But uh, I must say, if we're getting power outages about 300 kilometers away, that would be the capital in Santiago. You can imagine what's uh, going on in places, say, like Concepcion, which is much closer to the epicenter where that rupture uh, earthquake uh, occurred.